And now, for the first time on any comedy stage, the unknown comic. Hello, hello. How are you doing tonight? Let's have some fun, all right? My dog used to chase people on a bike a lot. It got so bad, I had to take his bike away. My wife's cooking is so bad, we pray after we eat. A husband and a wife are sitting at the table having dinner. The woman drops a bit of tomato sauce on her top and says, Oh damn, I look like a pig. The husband nods, and you also drop tomato sauce on your top. Get out of here! Boy, what a tough crowd! What a cool crowd! Ah. Well, that was rude giving me the hook. Well, on to plan B. And now, for the first time on any comedy stage, John from Arkansas. I just flew in from Arkansas, and boy, are my arms tired. Last night in bed, my wifey said, please say dirty things to me. So I said, bathroom, kitchen, living room. It's been raining for days in Arkansas, and wifey seems very depressed by it. She keeps standing by the window, staring. If this keeps up, I'm gonna have to let her inside. What's the difference between a bachelor and a married man? A bachelor comes home, checks what's in the fridge, and goes to bed. A married man comes home, checks out what's in the bed, and goes to the fridge. <laughs> How do you turn a fox into an elephant? You marry it! My wifey told me to go out and get something that would make her look very sexy. So I got drunk. Thank you, thank you. What a great crowd you are. Thank you, thank you. Well, hello everybody. Welcome to part four of this 1932 mystery, Cathedral Radio. Hello, how are you doing? As I was telling you in uh, the last episode, this uh, piece here is measuring three sixteenths of an inch. And uh, the piece I cut out was a quarter inch, which uh, is too thick. So I got me some 3 16 inch plywood. Good piece of wood, too. It's going to be nice and level. And once I get this cut out and fit it in here just right and glued, then I can go ahead and... Uh, put that thick veneer over this piece to strengthen everything. Then I can concentrate on this part, which this is gonna be a uh, kind of hard piece. I'm gonna have to cut out each of these sections individually, sort of like a mosaic. Uh, huh? And fit the uh, veneer in that way. Get to work, you heard me, come on. So, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to trace this out like last time and I'm going to cut it off camera. Well, it's time to clean this mess here. Ew! Uh, this got some rust on it uh, here. There's a big rust stain here. What I think I'll do is I'll use that, that water and navel jelly combination that I used on the tuning cap. Here's the front of the cabinet here. You're probably noticing, uh, where's all the veneer here? Well, I stripped it off. It was all peeling off anyway. I had to re-glue part over here that was uh, kind of, you can see the crack right here. This, this, this part needed to be glued. So I glued that. And uh, you remember, my test grill, which is this big thick thing. This is my first uh, attempt. That sucks. I didn't quite like it and uh, I cut some of these uh, these things too short so ah! I decided to try another one. So, say it once, say it twice, third time the charm. I've sanded this one down. It's gonna go right in here. It's kind of a tight fit. What a wonderful way to spend the Monday morning. 
All in all, I'd rather be in Philadelphia. If you've never used navel jelly, then you actually haven't lived. You ought to try it. It's really fun. Real fun. Fun? What the hell kind of fun is that? <laughs> well, here it is about an hour later. Might be crummy. A lot of rust was there. A lot of pity in here. Pits, pits, pits. Looks like this has been plated with, uh, I don't know, it's weird. You see a bunch of uh, stains here. I'm gonna see if I can just polish this out. If I can't polish it, then uh, we'll give it a little uh, coat of paint. I took out the uh, volume control when I was cleaning the chassis with that uh, navel jelly. And here it is right here. Nice! Let's take a look at it here. It says Central Lab, 2 amp, 125 volts, UND Lab Inspector, must be Underwriter's Lab. Cool. Half amp, 250 volts. Cool. Made in USA, and it's got a patent number. Cool. And it says V400. And uh, this is supposed to be, they have this listed as 10M, which is the M just stands for thousands. So this is supposed to be a 10K volume control. If this schematic is to be believed, I believe this is the correct schematic for it. But let's just test this, all right? Cool. Now, if you take a look at this, you know most volume controls have three points. You have a point. An idiotic one, but a point. You know, you got your wiper and you got one end and the other end. This other end's not used. Maybe it has something to do with the, because it's a TRF radio and it doesn't use maybe uh, automatic volume control and that's something that's usually hooked up to that. I don't know. So we'll just hook it up to here. Time for the test! And I was testing this earlier and uh, it's kind of weird. And so are you! Yeah, that's in the off position. Let me get that out of the way here. When this is in the off position, it's reading 64K. Because this is on the 2 meg scale. Now when I want to turn it on. That's uh, 430K. 500 Now it's going back down again. Oh boy. And it's all the way up and it's on zero. <laughs> That's kind of kooky, yeah. That's crazy, all right. And maybe this is a 500k volume control. I know this says V400. Maybe that stands for 400. But the schematic calls for a 10. So I don't know what to believe on it. Me neither. Me neither do. Mm. This, unless there's something weird going on here and it's reading 65k on it should be on zero here. I don't know. You know I may just drill out these rivets and take a look and see what's in there. Yay. Wouldn't that be kind of interesting if we did that? Remember in part one, I told you there was a rusted screw in here, and then I sawed into the uh, chassis here? That thing put up quite a fight, but I finally got the damn thing out of there. Damn. What I think I'm going to do is, I'm going to just see if I can use solder to fill up this, uh, this saw hole here. I don't know if it will work, but trial and error, trial and error. You're probably sick of hearing it, but that's how I do things. Yep. I got this 100 watt iron here that I'm gonna just stick down here. The very utmost. Kooky, lend me your comb. Kooky, kooky. Man, I got my brains lighted and my flaps are gonna bend. You're gonna send me to that planet called.
I'll just let that cool off and then we can fix that. We can sand it down so it's smooth. That's my cookie corner for today. I just want you to stop combing your hair. Kiss me. You're the maximum of most. Because that's the kind of scene that I dig. Baby, you're the ginchiest. Well, there's the one two combination of Brasso and Novus number two. You can still see these discolorations at places here, but I'm going to leave it like that. I may put a clear coat over this. Here's all the pits uh, where the uh, rust was there. Not bad for an old man. Here's where I uh, fixed the uh, saw mark with, uh, with solder. Oh, brother. Just took a Dremel tool and smoothed it down. Pretty easy. I guess that turned out okay. Oh, brother. I'm going to go with it. All right, onward. Okay, I have uh, drilled the rivets off. And I have not peaked. So when I open this, you'll see it uh, just like me for the first time. Open sesame! Oh, it's one of those. Yes. It's just a little pad, pressure pad here. I showed you one of these before. What it does is just put pressure on this metal piece and there's a carbon track here. So here's the carbon right here. So what? Here's where this, this little thing puts pressure on here when you turn it. Big deal. Just like that. Kind of archaic. A very old-fashioned idea to my mind. There's a close-up of the carbon track. And it's all worn out. Yes. It's got some missing carbon here. So I'm not even going to bother with this. I'm going to order another volume control. Come on, you. Cough up a bucket, cheap bastard. I guess I'll order a 10K. I do have a 500k around, so uh, I'll have both, and we'll see which one works best. But, there it is. A well-worn uh -huh. carbon track type uh -huh. volume control. Okay, I'm very close to uh, gluing the veneer on here. Glory face! I've got the back uh, nice and smooth. Uh, any gaps over here where the joints are, I put some wood filler in there. So what I'm going to do is, this veneer here is a sixteenth of an inch, so it's kind of thick. So, what I was thinking of doing here is just tracing this out. Little man walked up and down and found an eating place in town. He looked the menu through and through to see what 15 cents could do. One meatball dinner he had planned the folks were startled one and all to hear that waiter loudly call one meatball one meatball hey this here gent wants Some bread, sir, if you please. The waiter's voice roared down the hall. 
You get no bread with one meatball. One meatball. One meatball. You get no bread with one meatball. The little man felt very bad. But one meatball was all he had. Now in his dreams he hears that call. He gets no bread with one meatball. One meatball. One meatball. You get no bread with one meatball. Well, here we have the rest of the cabinet. Oh, brother! This thing is falling apart as we speak here. No kidding. This thing that forms the uh, the shape of the cabinet here needs to be uh, either fixed or replaced. This thing uh, was in the way one day and I actually stumbled over it and I cracked it here. This is self-inflicted. Too clumsy, bonehead. The wood here. It's terrible. So, here's what this thing looks like uh, inside here. This little thing that forms the shape. It's got these glue blocks in here. Really cheap. Uh, not much support on that. There's not much hope for this thing here. This thing just broke off. <laughs> right over here. See this thing, this one piece here is missing. It's the same exact slap up piece here that should have went here and held in by glue blocks here. Now that's completely missing so I need to take this off and recreate this. I just may just go ahead and uh, just make one of these from scratch. I need to get this thing off. It's falling apart. There we go. You broke it, you fix it. This is very valuable here because this gives me the whole outline of the curve. I don't know if I can save this. But at least I gotta glue it so it's in one piece so I can copy it. You're a pretty smart fella, aren't you? Let's just close out the video here and uh, I'll paint the, uh, the can and I think I'll paint that black and we'll see what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. This is Buzz.